Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a Steam error. This says connection error, could not connect to the Steam network. Either check your connection and click retry or start Steam in offline mode. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to check your connection otherwise to other websites and make sure you do have an active and working internet connection. So if you're having an internet connection and you know there aren't any other problems, if you try going to Google or YouTube, for example, then it likely is a Steam related issue here. So we're just trying to kind of narrow down the potential issues. And if you open up a web browser as well, and you navigate over to a website, it's going to say Steam Stat. It's going to give you a rundown of the Steam server status all around the world. I do like referring to this website in a lot of my Steam server tutorials of this nature because it gives you a rundown of what the current uptime is of the servers and if there's other issues going on worldwide, you should be able to detect it here after a few minutes. So, you know, they do have downtime every once in a while, so you just check back and, you know, usually if you come back an hour or two later, and try and connect back to Steam, you should be good to go. So that's really the big thing there. If you're having a whole network issue on your particular computer, something else we could try would be just to reset our network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you're gonna to have to get your Wi-Fi credentials off the back of your router, or if you have them written down somewhere. So just take note of it, because we are gonna reset our network settings back to default. So you're gonna to have to enter that back in once we reset our network settings. So open up the search menu. And type in settings, best match should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to go scroll down underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and left click on that. And then underneath more settings, select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now you will need to sign and close out of your system. So go ahead and just restart your device at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process, and hopefully you're going to be back up and running in no time. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.